Let's take a look at the silicon die inside this CPU. The first step is to very carefully smash it with a hammer. Here's what it looks like inside. Here's the ripped open printed circuit board with the underfill still attached to the silicon chip. The underfill provides structural support and electrical insulation between the bond points that contact the silicon. This shiny slab is our silicon chip. Let's rip off the corner to expose the silicon die. Here, you can see the fractured surface of the silicon crystal. This part doesn't do any computation. All of the CPU magic happens within a thin layer on the surface of the silicon chip. The thickness of this layer is on the order of microns and is itself composed of many smaller layers that measure on the order of nanometers. Some of the patterns that you see are from light reflection reflections on metallic interconnect layers that are embedded within the chip. The iridescent colors are due to thin film interference and diffraction of light as it travels through transparent oxide layers within the chip.